Hello, Pisces. My little fish, my slippery little fish. What's going on? We are going to do a twin flame reading for you today. You do not have to resonate with twin flames. It can be just whomever you're thinking about while watching this video. Okay. Also, don't forget to, <clears throat> sorry. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Okay. Clicking that like button bumps me up in the algorithm, helps me get my content out to more viewers. I truly appreciate it. Also, if you would like to enter to win a free personal reading, I give away one every week. To be eligible, you're going to want to like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section down below. Let's put your sun sign and your person's sun sign. I'm kind of curious to see who attracts who, or who attracts whom, or whatever. Also, I am having a deal right now going on for personal readings. Check that out in the description box below. All right, Pisces, general reading cannot and will not resonate for everybody. Check those other placements, okay? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Cross watchers welcome. Roles can be reversed. Um, I'm going to put you on one side, your person on the other. Feel free to flip it around if you need to. And a lot of times, guys, we get a mix of both people's energy on both sides. Okay. So take it as it resonates. Let's do it. Four of swords, healing and recovery, bottom of the deck. We have the seven of wands and the page of swords, the two of wands and the 10 of swords. We have the king of swords and the five of wands. We have the King of Wands and Justice. We have the Six of Wands and Death. And we have the Seven of Cups and Judgment. All right. With that Four of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So we have Fire Energy with this King of Wands, Libra with the Justice, Scorpio with Death. More Scorpio with judgment. We've got all the suits accounted for, present and accounted for. There's a lot of tumultuousness in this reading. I don't know what is going on. All right, so Seven of Wands right next to the Page of Swords. Somebody is feeling very defensive, but they're checking something or someone out. So what is this Seven of Wands? What is this Seven of Wands? The Four of Cups. Um. So somebody here is, is not fulfilled, feeling unhappy, feeling, um, bored and feeling defensive. And they want out of that energy, the eight of wands. They want, they want to go somewhere else. They want to communicate something. They want to, you know, there's something here that needs to give. All right, Page of Swords. What are we looking at? What are we thinking about? What's going on? What are we watching? Page of Swords. The Eight of Cups. Give me one more for the Eight of Cups and the Page of Swords. We've got our eye on something, someone, um, but we are trying to get out of the situation that we're in. The Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Trying to get out of it quickly. And the Sun be watching a Leo don't have to be, but I'm telling you, I'm going to keep telling you this Leo season is big, big energy available to everyone. All right. Two of wands. We're planning, we're making decisions. We're thinking about the future. What are we doing here with this two of wands, Pisces? We're planning an ending. We've got this 10 of swords right next to it. So we're planning on ending a situation and moving forward to somebody somewhere else. Two of Wands and the Death card. More Scorpio energy there. Aquarius energy with the star. Now we have the sun and the star in the same reading. This is going to be like beautiful happiness when the when the two of you come together. This person has another situation to get out of, or you do. Um, but when you come together, it's going to be like kismet, like perfect. Ten of Swords. There is a painful ending here coming. It's like, it can't be put off any longer. I feel, yeah, the chariot. It's like Pisces, you or your person is in this energy of, I cannot stay here. Not one second more. I got to go. The high priestess. There you are, Pisces. You have held it in and held it together as long as you can. I feel like with that 10 of swords, it's all going to come out and you're out. You're gone. King of swords. You've made your decision. This relationship has went cold for you and you want out. 
you're tired of this conflict, whatever this is, this drama, whatever's going on. All right, so King of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. You know, I think you've worked on this commitment for a long time and it's just it's just not going well. It's not yielding what you wanted it to. You're unhappy and you want out. Yep, the Six of Cups. You're thinking about somebody else already. You're thinking about a person from your past. Five of Wands here, conflict and competition. It's a little bit of a nasty mess to get out of this relationship that you're in. But it was a karmic cycle and you're done now. So that's the good news. So you can go. You've learned everything from this connection that you were supposed to have learned. Right? It's done now. Move on. Level up. Regardless of where you go, this connection is over. The Ace of Pentacles. There's a new beginning for you. One you can take to the bank. King of Wands, Leo energy, doesn't necessarily have to be. What or who is this King of Wands? Fiery energy here. The Hermit. I'm going to tell you that I feel like um, this, this person, this, this is the person you're leaving because they're alone now. They're, and they're doing some soul searching about how, the, how it got to this point. Six of Wands. I think they were in their ego. You could have been dealing with a couple of Leos here, but I'm telling you that um, somebody just really kind of took this relationship for granted and thought that they had it in the bag and that that ego sealed their fate. We have 11, card 11, the justice card right next to it. That is... Typically for me, that's divorce, especially when I see judgment in the same reading, because this justice is kind of like the paperwork, the legalization of dissolving a relationship, right? The four of pentacles. You know, you stayed here too long and it got stagnant and it just wasn't, it wasn't fulfilling anymore. You've learned everything here that you need to learn. And now you're ready to move on. The three of swords, definitely some heartbreak here. I think Everybody here has been heartbroken at one point. You've been heartbroken without your person, Pisces. Your person has been heartbroken without you. And now we're in this third party situation and they're going to get their heart broken. So there's really no way to avoid. It. So here we have this six of wands energy again. What is this six of wands? This can be a lot of ego. What is this six of wands? The five of swords. Yeah, this with the death card next to it. This ego energy was their, was their demise in this connection. And they may be trying to hang on, you know, playing some mind games, being manipulative, being controlling. But it's not going to work with this judgment card. We're breathing life into a situation from the past and that relationship is ending. There is a finality here that cannot be denied. King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio certainly could be you, but um, there's an ending. You're, you're saying it's over, it's done, I'm out. Yeah, there you are, the hanged man. You're seeing this person for who they truly are, whatever that means, um, and you're out, you're done. There is a finality here that is not, it's not coming back. Queen of Cups tried to pop out. All right, Seven of Cups with judgment right next to it. I think you have been dreaming about this for a while. You've certainly been fantasizing about your person Pisces and they probably have about you as well. 10 of cups, not just fantasizing about them as a person, fantasizing about this relationship, this connection, really wanting to be together. There's a happiness and a love here that is just uncomparable. The Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're going to get your chance. We have this judgment. We are breathing life into a past situation, right? The resurrection of the past. The Two of Wands going forward. You've made the decision to go forward with this connection from the past. And the Seven of Swords. This is what you wanted all along, even though you never didn't say it. But here's the thing. 
you know, I think you would have stayed in this connection had something not been real bad. But you're going to come around. You're going to tell your person, this is what I've wanted for a long time. To heal this connection. To communicate with you, page of wands, that I miss you and I don't want to live without you with this five of cups. This five of swords, you know, somebody's going to be mad. There's going to be some manipulation. But, you know, and there may, they may even try to manifest you back. But, it, you know, it's not going to work. Because here we have this Hierophant and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, this connection is going to work. It is. It's just, it's going to work. All right, Pisces. What I got for you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment um, in the comment section down below. Also, if you would like to book a personal reading, um, you can shoot me an email. All of that information is in the description box below. And I'm sending you tons of love and light until next time.